ourselves a 7 8 uh, wrench right here. This is going to be your higher end tool, uh, steel tool alloys. Uh, and it's also got a little bit of a rounded shape to it. So we'll get the chance to see how this bit tries to walk, see if it just tries to, you know, go ahead and start digging in right away, or whether it walks around a little bit as we go. That 135 degree split point, and the split point is really what comes in handy here, should allow it to just catch and start digging right in, as opposed to spinning and moving and then causing the drill bit to break. So there again, you have it. It's making about the same kind of size chunks. Uh, everything's not discolored. There's no blacking or bluing or overheating. Uh, we still have not applied any lubricant. This is the same drill bit that we used in the very beginning, and uh, it's cutting through this very, very nicely. I'm pretty sure your tool steels are, are somewhere up there in like the, the 40s and 50s on the Rockwell hardness scale if you want something to compare that to. The bit itself is probably up there in the 60s. I've seen cobalt bits, you know, as high as 66. I don't know exactly what the rating is on these, uh, but as far as cutting, um, you know, 40, 40s and, and lower 50s um, Rockwell hardness scale steel, uh, they're going to be doing a really good job about that. So uh, let's try some stainless steel. That can always cause a problem. Um, if you've ever went to your local hardware store and had to drill through a sink or, you know, a, a stainless steel door wrap or anything stainless steel and you didn't expect it to be stainless steel uh, you're in for a rude awakening because those drill bits are not drilling through it all you're gonna do is waste your money and time and get very frustrated and angry with it um, but we're gonna go ahead and chuck one up here let's see <clears throat> so yeah clean through that right there and stainless steel. This is a uh, door latch protector. So this is actually a fairly thick piece of stainless steel, if you'll take note here. I think this is probably about an eighth of an inch. So this is much thicker than a, than a sink or, or something like that. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of thickness to it here. So let's see how we can load this up. See what it does here. So that did a really nice job through the stainless steel. Uh, it, uh, it's good to slow your RPMs down um, when you're drilling through stainless steel because you can work heat the, uh, the, the working environment here. You can actually heat treat the metal and then make it twice as hard to drill through. 
uh, but that did it very, very nicely, very quickly, considering we lowered the RPMs down a little bit, um, and very, very nicely. Uh, very impressed with it. That's an awesome job. Uh, to be able to drill the stainless steel at all is, is quite a feat, let alone uh, do it very nicely, quickly, and again, you're still getting, uh, you know, extremely good large shavings uh, and a lot of material that's being removed from that um, that's not discolored. You can tell when a drill bit's going bad or a bad drill bit right off the bat if you start getting discoloration, uh, blue chips and, and burnt and different colored uh, cuttings. The cuttings will tell you how the drill bit is actually operating. So we'll go ahead and uh, try one more. We got the spring steel to try and uh, or actually no we're gonna do the socket. We'll do the socket next. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.